Yo, hey, welcome to King Shiz Mindset Masterclass. I am the CEO, Caleb Dunbar. Let's get right on into it. So this masterclass, I'm going to be going over how to achieve self-empowerment for grown men and a paradigm formula that helped grown men achieve it. So let's jump right on into it. So the paradigm formula, there are actually three pillars that form the paradigm formula. So the first pillar is called effortless destiny creation. Now, I know it sounds pretty crazy, like what is effortless destiny creation, but I'm going to actually simplify each pillar and actually give you three exercises to do that really boosts you up. And you'll see how all this plays a key role at the end. So I definitely go over it. Now, this next pillar is called absolute. Oh, let's spell it. Absolute self-understanding. So that that pillar right there is a key 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 thing for yourself and really to understand yourself i'm gonna break it down for you i'm gonna break it down for you shortly now this third pillar this is the bread and butter one this is the bread and butter one it's called total authentic growth and also too along you're welcome to write down these things and actually give yourself a, a clear image of how you want to go about things and this is the paradigm form that you can apply to your life like instantly so the first one we're going to break it down and we're going to simplify it. so the simplified word of it is visualization oh, spelled it visualization so for every man in particular Every man who has a vision with no action, it's, it's, it's pretty flawed, unfortunately, sometimes versus a man with action, with no vision, he don't know what he's working toward. It's the same type of scale. So there's no judgment for each one. So you'd rather be in action versus seeing things and not doing no action. So the real key point for this, for visualization, is to boost up your but making a man become a visionary. So by being a visionary, what are you working toward? Every man needs to know what are you working toward? So first exercise you need to understand for yourself, what are your dreams? What do you see yourself having in life? For instance, for me, I plan on having a mansion, you know, having multiple queens, or if I'm blessed with just one, then that's so be it. I am um, plan on getting over 100K to a million a month. You know, that's the goal. Shoot for the shoot for the stars. If you get that the planets, that's cool. Um, also to get my dreams, green car, skyline Carvette, whatever color it is. I'm gonna be in LA. Like you see how I'm starting to get more and more in detail. And also too, whenever you go on about your dreams and really analyze yourself, like, man, what do I really see my 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 dream scene of life? What am I really working toward? And once you have that in your grasp of, of mind, hey, go visit these places. Hey, go to that mansion. Hey, go fill that car. Hey, meet the woman that you really feel that's gonna be the ones for you. Really take your time to really indulge yourself with that, with your dreams and really make it clear for yourself. And also when you make it clear, this is what you're doing for exercise too. This is what you're actually building within yourself. You're forming a bridge. You're forming a bridge, okay, here, this is where I'm trying to go. So I need to make this bridge on what I need to do to get there. So the first step is to get in that vision for it. Okay, I'm making it very clear on where I need to go now. I'm making it very clear, this is what I want to go about it. So how I need to go about it. So that is the, that's the perfect thing to ask yourself, how I need to go about it. So your goals, your goals are the key thing. And be very clear with yourself with your goals. For me, you know, the biggest exercise everybody's always taught, you know, what do you see yourself in this next year or five years, 10 years? I even go simpler than that. I ask myself, what do I see myself this month? Okay, near future, what do I see myself? So how I make myself very clear to see myself, I break it down in pillars. Or not pillars, I break it down in categories. Hey, I see myself in fitness-wise. What do I want to achieve this month fitness-wise? Am I trying to lose five to 10 pounds? Okay, what do I need to do? What is going to take? What do I need to eat for that to really make sure I am boosting my results whenever I am working out? The average person works out three times a a week. So be above average to get above average results. Try to work out more than that and incorporate it into your day to day life. So your goals of breaking down yourself fitness wise. Now, the next one, career wise, what are you doing for business or what are you doing for work? Are you progressing in that? Are you getting promoted? Are you digressing? Are you about to get fired? What are you doing to make yourself clear? Hey, do I need to apply for other jobs or hey, business? I need to make a business move. Ask yourself these questions and get to it and making a plan. And then a third one, another option you can have. Now you got the fitness, now you got the career wise. Now ask yourself relationship-wise and friends and stuff that's around you. Do they play a key role in stopping me from getting to my dreams? 
Because if so, then I need to probably deviate from having them in my life. That's probably going to be very, 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 very beneficial. So really ask yourself that. And of course, I can keep going on in categories and categories. And of course, you need help with all this stuff. That's what I'm here for. So let's move forward. So that is the first pillar. Effortless desecration, visualization. You're going to go dreams, form that bridge, and then you goes. Now, let's go to the second pillar. So this second pillar is absolute self-understanding. Now let's simplify it again. Embody. So now what does embody mean? So for you, what do you think it means? Ask yourself, what do you think embody means? This is how I go about helping men, grown men, understand what embody means. Who are you? Who exactly are you? Do you even know yourself? And that's the question you need to ask yourself. Because the dope thing about you is the fact of the matter. There was billions of people in existence and there's billions of people going to come into this world. And there's none of us have the same fingerprints at all. If we do, some freaky shit going on, some freaky shit. But majority of the time, we don't have the same fingerprints. So it shows how unique we all are. We all see the world differently. So we all can agree upon things, but we all see the world differently. So the first thing you need to identify for yourself is your attributes. If you really don't understand what that means, attributes, think about this. Have you ever played The Sims? Uh, hopefully people have played The Sims. You ever create your person and you get to choose, hey, I want a person to be outgoing, shy, you know, intelligent, or, you know, just nervous. You get to choose your type of character. Or on video games, Madden or basketball, you know, you want to choose the athletic person or in football, you want to choose the receiver or the position that you want to make. And there's certain characteristics that person has that makes that person who you are. So really ask yourself, what are my characteristics that makes me me? What is it? What are my high points and my characteristics? What are my low points and my characteristics? Hey, I want to be more of a balanced person. So now I see myself clearly. I know how to work towards that. So now the second exercise, this is what I do. This is something unique that most people really don't take the time to do. What are your center thoughts? So for me, every single day, what forms my characteristics every single day whenever I wake up and what I look forward to being like, I try to be a man of integrity. When I say man of integrity, I know in the long run, it's going to pay off. And I'm doing things according to how I feel and what I believe in. So I try to be a man of integrity. Two, I try to be a man of charismaticness. I like to give energy. I like to make an impact. I like to make people feel me, you know, like, yo, you know, the, the world sucks already. We all dealing with it, but what makes it that much more worse when we have a terrible attitude about it? And the world ain't that bad when you start to really look at things in a different light. And of course, three, I go about things with integrity, passion, and passion. That's my third one, passion. <laughs> so with passion, I like to make sure whenever I do anything, I give my all. I mean, I'm from the hood. So I was taught like, whatever we do, boy, put your effort into it and you might go far. So to this day, I do everything with passion. I do everything telling myself, hey, if I gave my honest effort and work out, cool, it might not be meant for me. So I make it clear. So with those center thoughts, and of course you can have so many other words you can have in your mind, but for me, I have top three and I keep it simple like that. Now, the next exercise that you can really, really, really think about and really understand that really supports you becoming the person that you wanna be, ask yourself what's around you. What does your lifestyle support? So for me, throughout this journey of me doing so many things, impacting so many people and creating so many things, what really made the shift in my life was the fact whenever I looked around in my life, and like, wow. So all these people in my life, have they really been supporting this person I am? Or they've been fueling the person I'm trying to become? And a lot of the people were just supporting the person that I am because they was comfortable with who I was, but I really wasn't because I felt like I'm more built for greater things and more of an impact. So really ask yourself, does your lifestyle around you, the people around you, the items that you have, the habits you have, video games, you know, what is, what is your day-to-day -day habits that really support that? really supports who you are or who you're trying to be. So the difference, like on the first pillar, goals. Goals is building a whole new frame of lifestyle. It requires discipline. Now, this embodied-wise is you having a realization of your lifestyle right now, currently. And does it really support my goal person, aka the pillar one, who I'm trying to become to get access to my dreams first, the person I am right now. And so you start to see how both of these pillars play a key role in you having a realization and you knowing exactly where to go with that. So pillar two, you know, Absolute self-understanding and embody. So embody the qualities you are and break yourself down and really have a clear picture of who you are. That is key. That is key. And then, of course, the final pillar, total authentic growth. Simplified it down. It is going to be progress. What is your progress? I know everybody went to school. What is your progress report? So <laughs> how do you go about your progress report of yourself? And also, too, 
everything in this form, like the beautiful thing about it is there is no right or wrong answer. You make your own right or wrong answer. You only answer to you. That's the benefit of being a grown man. Hey, whatever I do, I stick with it because I know I'm doing this for myself. I'm doing this for because I want to do something more for my family. So I'm getting myself in check. So progress wise, the first exercise you really need to understand is your memories. You can be like, what do you mean memories? How does that play a role into growth? Well, let me give you an example for me. Memories wise, let's say when I'm living life and understanding life and something came about like a lot of stuff in school that we typically don't ever need to know, like science and all this other stuff we need to know. And then later on in life, you know, I have kids or later on in life, a situation came about. I'm like, damn, you know what? I actually, let me think about this. Did I really learn this? Or did I think about this? Or I did actually come across that. So let your memories kind of boost your per boost yourself in the present moments of looking back to reflect on what I used to do, how I used to be, how I used to solve situations, how I used to go about thinking. And let me translate it over into something new. Let me try something new. So always use your memories to think about the next moves. Think about, hey, if I did this before, think about that. For instance, business-wise, it's all based upon memories. Like, okay, when I first started the business versus where I am now, I kept kept compiling these memories of all the things I did wrong and started to fix them to make them get right. So really apply that into your life. And then it definitely goes into how to really fuel your mechanism of really growing and stuff. For me, it's all about creating a motto. It's all about a, Maya, a motto, aka affirmations. So for me, my motto is I live day by day. Only why I live day by day because what happened yesterday is gone and what's coming is not for certain. So only thing that's happening and it's for certain is right now in this moment. Like right now, you've been on this masterclass right now, getting these dope gems and knowledge of a different way of thinking. This is why I have a motto. Every single day I give my full self, no matter what I'm doing at that present moment, I get 10% of the past, 10% of the future and 80% of the present. And that's the way to be. For instance, COVID, COVID just took stuff over. <laughs> we had a lot of plans for ourselves in that future, just went away according to somebody else's, um, the government saying everything that needed to happen. So create yourself a motto and it's really going to fuel you. And of course, the final step, which is the, the final exercise, which is the most important, you have to really spend time with yourself with self-reflection. Hey, you know, it's okay to be hard upon yourself, bro. It's okay. I know I'm damn well hard upon myself, but only why I allow myself to be hard upon myself because I want big and crazy things. I want the impossible in my life. So I need to push myself to get that. My family tree never done the stuff that I'm doing. So that fuels me. So every single day, I self-reflect. And throughout the years of my military career, I have so many hours to hundreds to thousands of hours just spending time with just me. And because of that, it fuels me to this day because I spent so much time with myself. I understand everybody has darkness. Everybody has darkness. We all created from darkness. If you don't know what I mean by that, think about this. Before your mother and father are, you know, however you was created on this world, you was from nothing. You was a thought. So your mother and cat, hey, man, I want to have kids. Oh, you want to have kids too? Let's do it. So they did, they did the physical actions and created a kid out of that. So you was a thought. Everything is on our head is nothing. It's coming from nothing. It's darkness. So whenever we do most of the action, it becomes light. So the thing for it is that we're all created from darkness. We all have deep things and crazy things about ourselves. We're just like, man, bro, this is hard. Or this is deep. I just weighing me down. Well, allow yourself to spend time with yourself and actually make peace with your darkness and let your darkness fuel your light and your light will be everlasting because darkness came first. And it's going to be crazy things. Like for me, I spent so much time with myself. I'm at peace with myself entirely. And I use them craziness and all the scars and hard time all the stuff I've been through to fuel my light because I'm trying to do some crazy, crazy things. So I let it fuel me. So this is the paradigm formula and how to implement it in your life. And if you don't know, that's okay. That's what I'm here for. But this is definitely a brief summary of how it goes about and how it works broken down. And so, you know, the thing about this is, you know, I'm starting a new case study week. I'm looking to take five grown men who wants to achieve self-empowerment within the next 90 days with the paradigm formula. Comment below the words case study and I'll get you the details. It's that simple, bro. It's that simple. And let's take the shit over. Hey. I'm here for you, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon to transform your life to a whole nother way by applying this to your life. Let's get it.